All right. Uh, it is game day, as you will. Uh, World Championships finals. Goose is one of those things people have a tendency. Whenever you say you're gonna eat goose, people will be like, oh man, I don't wanna eat that. That's, that stuff's too gamey. Uh, but the reality is you can eat anything. I mean, I personally would slap a yes. raw breast on the grill it with some salt like and pepper, sear both sides and eat it, and I would be totally Daddy, happy. But I know like when I'm cooking like for other people. Uh-oh, that was silly of me. Yeah. When I'm cooking for other people, uh, I like to mellow it out, get some, you know, pull some of the flavors that you want and uh, mask some of the flavors that you don't want. Freshly diced ginger is one of my favorite things to do for the marinade. So, um, also ginger is super cheap when you buy it like this. When you buy it like all minced up, it's kind of expensive, but when you do it yourself, it's cheaper. We're gonna do a couple different spices along with the ginger to help bring out some of the good flavors and mask some of the, some of the uh, stronger ones. Garlic, lemongrass, ginger, uh, I'm also going to put some balsamic glaze in the marinade, along with lime juice. What's the last thing? And Worcestershire sauce. That's kind of my goose marinade. You actually treat goose. I tend to treat goose more like steaks. They're not. Um, you're, they're not like your typical chicken, uh, pheasant, quail, uh, bird cooks. You actually cook them like red meat steak because they are real dark meat. So that's uh, that's where we're going. This is my 2018 caribou. And we're gonna add it to the docket. Goose, caribou, what more could you ask for? It's hey, called a uh, sopapilla. It's basically like um, cheesecake. Oh, it's over here. I stole Goodness. it. Cheesecake? Cheesecake, yes. It's like a cheesecake bar, kinda. To accompany the goose, we are making a nice batch of Kind of chunky gravy. Uh, starting with bacon as the root, because everything's better with bacon. And we got some fresh chopped onions and some mushrooms to saute in with the bacon. And then, once these things all kind of cook down and start to caramelize, then I'm gonna add a full beer. Kind of boil the beer off, and that's how you get your gravy. A lot of people do beef broth or milk or whatever. I like beer gravy. All right, now the moment has arrived. The gravy is prepared. Everything's ready to go. It's just time to sear the goose. Like I said, we cut these thin. They're gonna cook fast. Sear them on both sides. Uh, pretty much shooting for medium rare or rare. Uh, and then we're gonna put the gravy on top of it and give it a rip. And I'm searing it in butter because everything's better in butter. It's gonna take me a while to cook all this goose in this pan. Yeah. Put it in here. Dave, what happened, man? Uh, well, uh -oh. I set off the fire, the smoke alarm. It's classic. Was that scary? No, it was loud. Loud. It was loud. Too loud. Too loud. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, 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 good. We got you to get scared. Oh, my God. So we have a plate of goose and all the fixings to go along with it. And I'm gonna pour some gravy on top of it for Mrs. Wise to sample. My gravy is a little on the thin side because I forgot flour at the store. So we wung it and I added some uh, fresh cream. Thickened it up a little bit, but not as thick as I'd like. But the flavor's still there, so here we go.
Yeah, she's chewing You like it? It's really good. You nailed the sauce. Sweet. Yeah. You like the gravy on top? The gravy's really good. Nice. Daddy. Daddy. All right, let's dig in. I mean, for me, it's just really awesome to be a part of the sport still, you know? It's cool to see the guys push it. I've always like really enjoyed running snow cats and, and then cutting pipe is just kind of a specialty thing with that. But uh, yeah, it's just cool to be able to use the, the skills that I have to help in the sport of skiing and snowboarding, you know? I mean, obviously seeing the athletes and what they can do is the ultimate reward, you know? Having them be happy and, and being able to progress the sport is a, is a satisfying reward for sure. game day as you will uh world championships finals men and women we picked up a hitchhiker on the way hi <laughs> bringing maddie to the field of play as well how's she running oh ho, ho, boy uh, i just did a warm-up lap and went the biggest i have gone all season on my left nine so needless to say it's very fast in there it's gonna be very fun also kind of aggressive it's gonna be aggressive in there i'm not gonna lie Oh, well, great. First one's free, man. That went really good. It was wildly patient. And yeah. the fact that it still went around, like, I was like, well, obviously he's going to under rotate. Yeah. But you got way closer to your feet than you thought I, than I thought to. you were going to, like, a foot before takeoff. So, okay. sick. Yeah, bad drop in. If I had had the amplitude yeah. that I was going to have with a good drop in, it would have been mellow. I think it would have been fine. Yeah, man. No, good news. I am retrieving top secret information. Actually, it's not top secret. I'm just making sure the temperature is. I just want to let you guys know, in case you're wondering, it is in fact cold out here. Uh, I'm all hands on deck in terms of layers. I usually run super hot, so all I have is a t-shirt, a mid-layer, and this shell. And I'm glad I have all three of those things for sure. If it gets any colder, I'm going to have to start jogging in place. You getting jiggy with it? Just keeping the, keeping the blood flowing to my toesies. Keeping the blood flowing to my toesies. What do you think of free today? Yeah? Ah, oh, man. So here's here's where I'm leaning towards. Like, today's one of those days. I'm gonna get all four. Like, I'm feeling it. Okay. But it might take me three tries. Yeah, I get that. I also think that with where we're going in the day being not maybe the best weather, mm -hmm. I think a three run is still an easy podium. Okay. A good chance to win, especially if how fast it is. Yeah. Going 15 feet out. Do all, do three, switch right. I think left two, three, and right think the, bang out three, oh, and, and then two. bang out four. And then do four the next one. That's all right. what I'm saying. I like that. I like that. Sweet. Well, I put down a top to bottom run, first run. The judges were obviously convinced that I missed the grab when I switched up, which uh, admittedly I didn't miss the grab, but I didn't steeze it either. So uh, I could blame them or I could do it better myself. That's what my approach is going into the second run for sure. That was a good run though. Hey, have fun. We got our top qualifier getting ready to drop in. U.S. Pipe Team member, two-time Olympic gold medalist for Pipe. We're talking about none other than David Wise getting ready to drop in here. The big switch, right side double court 1080. To the left side double court 1260. Now at the right side, 1080, coming in switch. Switch, double court, 1080 to the left this time. To the right side, double court, 1260, wow. Had a chance to catch up with David last night and his family, had dinner, he cooked me some uh, wild game, he hunts for all his own meat, field the table kind of guy, 86.6. So an improvement there for Wise. Well, my second run went, in my opinion, pretty good. Uh, first run of the season, I got first time of the season, I got all four dubs in one run, and uh, I was a little under rotated on my switch right dub, but stomped it. Bolt didn't touch me hands on the ground or anything. The judges thought that was a bigger mistake than I thought. That's the way it goes. They gave me kind of a crash score, but it's the best of three format. I've been here before. 
Got to do it on the third run. Let's go. And he's your two-time winter Olympic gold medalist, David Wise, our top qualifier from the other day on the outside, looking in, 35 run. To get up on the podium, he's got a better Noah Bowman score of a 91.6. It's Kevin Merlon in second with a 93.8. And his fellow countryman and teammate Aaron Blunt on the top spot with a 94.2. But again, two-time Olympic gold medalist dropping in. David Wise, let's hear it! Coming out just switch. The switch, double court, 1080 to the right. Sit back a little bit on that landing. Straight into the double court, 1260. The right side, court, 1080 with the tail grab. The switch, left side, double court, 1080. The right side, double court, 1440. All right. Yeah, Dave. Wise, unfortunately, a little issue there at the top of the run. It comes down, completes the run nonetheless with some very impressive skin. We will see how the judges score this. All right, guys, that is a wrap from World Championships. I'm not even sure where I am, but those were three, those were three of my best runs of the year. So, um, sometimes Dave, I thought you'd see Dre. Thanks, man. Uh, I'm not bummed at all. Uh, I am super stoked with how the contest went. It sometimes it just doesn't uh, follow your way. David. Sometimes the cards, I, sometimes you throw the cards correctly, and then they get a rogue wind and they mix. That sometimes that happens. Clint, what do you think? What are your thoughts? Uh, overall, I was really psyched as you were with the way you see. And the Deb 14 is like, <laughs> 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 yeah. to just end out the week like that. That, that was solid. It felt pretty Great good. To see. Yeah, felt good. Great to see you, man. For you. Yeah, at the end of the day, guys, I walk, I walk away. I'm. You might hear a hint of bitterness in my voice. I am competitive, and when I ski at the level I just skied at and don't get the scores I feel like I deserve, I get a little bitter. I'm being totally candid with you. But on my third run, I knew from how they how they docked me on my second run. I knew after I landed sideways on that first trick, they were not going to give me a better score. And so I had a little audible moment in my head where I was like, well, you've been sizing up that right 14 for a long time now, Dave. Maybe now's the moment. Dave, I've when's good. the last time you've done it, you think? I think it was X Games in 2015. So we're looking at a solid four years ago. A little four-year break. you just broke it out. And I was like, well, I, I messed up my first trick. Let me see if I can get all four with oh, the 14. Oh, pretty solid. So that's, that's, that's my takeaway from today. I stopped at 14 bolts. And uh, looking forward to putting that in for new rooms going forward. So, thanks, man.